So continuing on with weight and balance, um, weight and balance issues can uh, be the cause of accidents and more than just being overgrossed. Obviously if you're overgrossed that can lead to an accident. But improper loading as well can be an issue. And there was a crash out in uh, January of 2018. An R44 had departed from, uh, from John Wayne Airport at Santa Ana, California and um, only made it about one mile away and unfortunately crashed into a residential uh, area and, and unfortunately there were three fatalities. There was one survivor and three fatalities. And when the, uh, when the news report reports first came out, it, this picture was shown on here. And uh, kind of hard to see the, with the camera there, but you can see the, you can make out the end number on the aircraft. And I saw the end number was November 7530 Romeo. And I'm like, man, I know I have flown that aircraft before. In fact, my business partner was here at the other desk, and I mentioned it to him, and he thought I was about half crazy. But I'm like, man, I'm telling you, I don't know what I had for breakfast. I couldn't tell you what I had for breakfast, but I can tell you the end number of nearly every aircraft I've flown the last 40 years. So I had this overwhelming thought that I had flown that aircraft before. But anyway, eventually the um, NTSB report came out, and it showed that uh, he was indeed overweight by about you know, 76 pounds, but more importantly than that, uh, his CG was too far forward. And so, uh, this is from the NTSB report, they actually plotted his CG as this red line here. And you'll see that not only is he above the envelope showing that he's overgrows by about 76 pounds, but his longitudinal CG is actually forward of the allowable forward limit. And what that's going to do is cause the aircraft to fly uh, quite uh, nose low. They actually had listed the uh, what they thought were the approximate weights of the passengers, and if you guys remember the down and dirty rule for R44's weight and balance is the lightest person goes up in the front seat. And if you have the light per lightest person in the front seat and heaviest people in the back, you should be uh, you know, likely you're going to be within CG, and your longitudinal CG won't be too far forward. In this case, the lightest uh, passenger was in the back seat, and weighed 146 pounds, and the the uh, uh, front seat passenger up front uh, with a pilot weight 175 pounds. So you wouldn't think that you know 25 or 30 pounds would make that big of a difference, uh, but it will. I mean, if you're already overloaded, plus the uh, you've got the um, CG too far forward, it makes it very difficult to lift the nose. The NTSB has a video um, actually of the accident helicopter when it departed from the ramp at uh, John Wayne Airport and I'll show you that real quick. What you're going to notice is that when he departs from the ramp his nose looks like he's 30 to 40 degrees down. Uh, it's quite remarkable. He does manage to get it into the air and flew off but like I say unfortunately about a minute later uh, was involved in the crash. I'll show you that video here. So it's quite obvious that his CG was uh, way too far forward there. So, and uh, ultimately that uh, apparently was the cause of the cause of the crash. Uh, <clears throat> again, I told you I had this overwhelming urge that it, or, or overwhelming thought that I had flown that aircraft before. So after the NTSB report came out and I looked at it, I got to thinking about it. I looked in uh, some old photos, and here's a photo of me flying the aircraft back in, uh, that's from 2010, my lovely wife was with me. And uh, we were flying the aircraft at uh, Lahui, Kauai. And uh, just to show you how small the helicopter world really is, turns out that one of the uh, uh, guys that I taught how to fly got his license with me about 2012. He actually flew the same helicopter in about 2014 during tours in Destin, Florida. And there's a picture of him with his dog there. So. The helicopter industry is, is quite small. It's kind of one of the old saying is, you know, everybody knows everybody. And that's pretty much true. You know? So what do we learn from this? Well, we learned that weight and balance can be a, an issue that can actually end up causing an accident with possible fatalities. So the one recommendation I have, you've done your weight and balance and everything, you think everything is great. 
but you go out and you pick the aircraft up. When you pick the aircraft up, if you're having to bring the stick all the way back to your chest because the nose is so low, then you've got a problem. You, there's something wrong. Either there's some stuff under the front seat, maybe somebody packed 25 or 30 pounds of junk under both of the front seats and you were unaware of it. I know you're supposed to look before you fly it, but you know, um, if you lift the aircraft and it's that low, nose low, put the aircraft right back down on the ground and do not attempt to fly it. And you know, you got to think that if this guy here, if he would have just set the aircraft back down instead of tried to fly off in it, that he'd still be around today. Of course.